Sup guys, it's Stan Kosh, and today in Super Snail, we are going into America. I actually got there already, and I decided to change the video layout for you, so it will be more interesting and not that long. Let's go. We actually unlock this pieces war for our character. I will make a separate guide on this. This is a really fun game mode. So, yeah, that will give you a lot of extra rewards. So far, we've got personal rewards here those they are really good and uh, you can get even more stuff and you get the club tasks when you finish those you get extra rewards as well so pretty decent bonuses we got some picks so we can dig deeper oh that was useless we didn't get any even a single event in the digging uh from the uh, guild wars <laughs> species war event and uh i want to try to beat the ghoul again Last time I failed miserably, but now I'm stronger. I should be able to beat him. Let's see. Yes, we are winning this, and that's really, really nice. We got this guy down, and that gave us some rewards. But most importantly, drilling rig upgrade. Let's try to defeat this guy. N not really. He's way too strong, so I don't even think of challenging him. That will end me real. Oh my god, that's a really powerful dude. So not today. Let's see if we can get the plumber. Probably not as well. Everybody else is pretty tough. I just recently cleared it, so all those guys are pretty OP, but you gotta... Oh, that's actually pretty close to win. So you gotta check those guys from time to time, even the lower tier ones. Sometimes they're weaker than the higher tier ones, and you can win and you can get more rewards per day. So always attempt it, because you don't know what will happen. And if you see that someone like Plumber, for example, is really easy to kill... You can try it a bit later and probably be successful at that. I'm still buying the avatars because those help me out quite a lot. I already got a rank A normal avatar that gives me crazy bonuses. I like it quite a lot and other things, but I mainly focus on the cheap ones because those I upgraded them a bit, but now I'm not sure if I want more of that. I haven't adjusted the compass for a while and my golden trophy here as a fame trophy isn't really good anymore. We can get Tetronomino and it got a lot of shards, so we can upgrade it even higher. And it should be better. So let's equip this one instead. That will give us a bit more stats. Uh, for other things... Oh, wait. I think we're good because even the Thinker, who is like not the top notch, it's giving us more uh, rewards. So it's kind of cool. If we can get something better, we can't really get anything better than this in terms of art anyway. This one is giving us intel gain, which is extremely valuable, so I don't want to change it for anything. If we got other options, we got the Argo that will give us even higher faith, but it will only give us rush, which we don't really need because we still die quite fast. And uh, mostly our stats are lower than the enemy stats. So yeah, I don't really need it. Otherwise, we might want to make a build that gives higher damage to try to clear the bosses and then make the farming build. We got two sets of compasses anyway. So yeah, for the tablet, this one gives us 1000 HP and Intel when you travel through the area and 71 sieve. Other options, most of them are not that good. This one is giving us a bit more sieve, but I mean, that bonus won't be that crazy. Let's see uh, how much attack it will give us. 201 attack or 161. So it's only 40 attack. It's not that much. I don't know. I like this Intel bonus way more and HP bonus as well, even though... I mean, in overall health pool, it's only 1%. I gotta think about that. Let me know if you think that I'm wrong and I should get the higher tier relic here. Obviously, if I'll get the relic that's both good in terms of sieve and bo uh, bonuses for compass, I'll get it. I think we should get this one and upgrade it, to be honest, to the higher stars. That will give us better bonuses. Moreover, that will give us per partner HP. So, probably this one is better. Let me know. So, yeah, what I wanna do now, I wanna fill up my supplies and go to ooh, america hell yeah we're going to america and we got the brit land when we'll finish the america we got a lot of areas unlocked but yeah let's go and see what do we get in this area i'm curious that's the new playthrough new gameplay new thing okay my snail america hell yeah so intel let's see oh north and south army so this is times of rebellion uh war for independence 
and uh, a bit futuristic. It's not like the original one. Can I switch side during this exploration? Okay, we decided to join North. Oh, Intel, map of North. Learn, not yet. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Biochem Intel. This is so cool. So this one works for North and this one works for South. Okay. So, Mecha against Biochem, and probably we will unlock more stuff. Card Redemption, do we get anything unique for us? We got some equipment, as always, exploration gear. I don't think it's useful for us right now. And, well, nothing crazy so far. So, let's speed up this area. I will go one area after another and unlock things. We will see how it will go. At least we don't get the minions, in, at least not right now. Don't get the army from uh, Cathay. Did we unlock any areas here? To do yeah just some rewards nothing crazy intel widow in white i wonder how strong she is let's learn traveling speed bonuses for both areas uh when we enter the map we start in the middle which one is north which one is south this is kind of weird it's not split in between you need to learn history to know that i guess <laughs> ah you need both of those upgrades to unlock additional stuff okay Let's go. So, uh, white plantation grids to green. One southern hero recruited. 10 minute travel sped ups. Okay, we got the heroes here as well. Southern heroes can bio transform. Northern heroes can mecha transform. Okay. Uh, and upgrade. Uh, let's go for the transformation. Getting some intel right here because we can. So we can get even more upgrades here and there. Uh, let's get this. Let's get... Do we need this? I think so. That will unlock more stuff. What does it do? Uh, tool chest and B tadpoles. Anything special here? Intel? Hamburger. <laughs> uh, no, I don't see any special crazy areas oh look at that we got special intel nice widow in white are we ready to fight her we got some agents let's see how strong those guys are we can defeat them that's good because when i arrived in cafe i couldn't defeat anyone not a single boss not a single minion and that was kind of painful now we can defeat those guys and get the bonuses for ourselves that's cool all right so widow in white it's your turn and i hope you're weak and we can defeat you losers are useless you are useless as well look at that we need oh we are really close like we are at the stats that are minimally required for america let's go murica hell yeah uh i hope that we will defeat her oh yeah we will defeat her she's not that strong that's very strong we are, we are we are very good in terms of damage the boss is defeated nice we got extra intel how do oh, american hero there we go so we can hire her as a hero right now uh what fall for me my beauty wisdom earns you more intel when you explore thank you let's go you're so lucky to be my next uh actually you're just my mount <laughs> let's recruit her Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, how do... What? Intel obtained plus 0 0.5. Intel analysis ride to take effects. She is riding on top of me. Okay. Uh, that looks weird because I have invisible shell. Flying star banner needs to reach level 3. Enchants requires mecha components. So we can upgrade them and that will give us even more intel. Does she give any other bonus? Logistics assault. Oh, okay, I'm a fan of these powerful heroes feels okay. Uh, logistics will give us HP, Assault will give us attack, Generalship will give us defense, and Marching will give us rush. Right stats only effective in America. Okay, that's cool. So we're stronger now. Northern heroes can transform. Let's upgrade it even more. There we go. So I don't know what does it means, but we will see. Uh... Uh, that will give us only speed ups. I don't like those basic bonuses. So we got the new upgrade here. Wormhole refinement. When you unlock wormhole device. So this is not for us yet. We don't have that available. Mecha lab. Uh, upgrade one unit to green. Probably that will give us mecha parts from the run. And uh, yeah, not that many things yet. So let's just rush this area again. As well, Texas. <laughs> Texas is a nice place. I love it. 
All right, let's rush it. And since we are stronger now, we should be able to defeat the next boss as well, I think. Let's claim the rewards. Let's go. Oh, we don't get any events here that we can complete. This one requires higher attack. Okay. So before fighting the next boss, we will need to do exactly upgrades. Uh, what can we get here? Yeah, I think that will actually give us the bonuses. But so far, when I click on... Uh, those grids they don't give anything crazy let's upgrade the one on the left we already upgrade no no we didn't let's upgrade this one learn to green that will give us just more tool chests that's it okay so let's see if we can defeat the next dude that's a lot of golems four four golems uh i want to make sure that we can beat them up we can because we got the lady on our back, I guess. I don't know. So, okay, the last defender golem, and it's beaten, and we might have a chance to defeat the rockman. Let's see. Oh, no, he's strong. We need, like, one... Uh, 200 more tech in order to be strong enough to beat him up to get the rush. Without the rush, I think we will fail. We won't be able to beat him. Let's give it a go. I think he will beat us up right now, because... Yeah, close, close, but not really. We will be defeated. It's so close. Have you seen that? Like this close. Oh my God. So let's speed up this area as well. We don't fight any bosses anymore, but I want to farm more stuff and see what I can get out of it. And we need Intel to get the upgrades and that kind of stuff. I think we can rush straight away till the end right now because uh, we won't be able to fight any more bosses and unlock any more areas. Exploration ends. We got some minor rewards here. And uh, let's see. First of all, the map. We can do a lot of events here, but most of those are like just war supplies. So they are not that crazy. Uh, the events that are requiring stats, we can't get them because we don't get enough stats for that. Here we can get the upgrades, I guess. Uh, against the north enable mecha labs so let's let's get it mecha component there we go so we are finally getting the components instead of the toolboxes same here for the south a garden to biochem lab so we can get not only got them hamburgers now but uh actually no that's a plantation that's still a plantation i think those bonuses will be activated depending on the side you will choose if you choose north you will get the mecha lab if you choose south you will get the bio lab over there i think it works like that as for the rewards we got plenty of bullets we can spend them here on crappy rewards that i don't really need or go to the next tier and find something cool over here that's exploration gear as well Do uh oh don't need it anything cool here that we might use for the base upgrade we got additional hp and rush bonus over here it's nice tier 3 upgrade we got we got some intel i think this is the best purchase so far and death rush injection as well everything else here is a gear and i mean it's nice but it's not that crazy good we can't really fit it anywhere right now so we need to get a lot of that gear, get it to at least orange in order to use it properly. So I bought all the intel I could because that will give me an advantage over everything in the game. So we can get the boost up for America faster. And if we're playing, uh, I think we should focus on one playthrough, either north or south and upgrade that area. So bam, that will give us fusion components, that will give us mecha components. And I think... Yeah, I think it's kind of efficient to play as one faction at start. What does this do? Card conversion in America gives 3% rewards. That's actually pretty nice. Well, we don't get money for anything else, so let's buy this. America card. That's good. We got extra stuff. So, we are done with the first run, and that actually gave us pretty low score, I believe. But we unlocked so many things already. That's actually 250k. That's a very high value. Moreover, we can buy American Novice Pack in the museum right now. That will give us uh, some intel. It's not that crazy cool, but it's a nice bonus for uh, starting out in that area. So guys, do you remember the book that we found that gave our partners a skill? Now uh, each partner have the new skill. They boost their own type of units and uh, that's actually pretty dope. We have to do a lot of upgrades that will cost us but that's pretty insane so for example for leaks we will get per 10 stands uh hp 
troop HP 100, so that's additional bonus for having multiple of the same type of units. You can uh, select the units that you like, the one that you use all the time, like for example we use those cats, so we can do that, or go for something else. Actually cats are not that good because they get the rush bonus. We need someone with attack. So yeah, when you finish all those upgrades, you will get a bit more power and uh, your minions will be stronger so you can use them better in the domain and fights. So let's go, second run to America. Let's see how it will go now. Um, selecting the side. So you can go for south and north again. Since I got the north dude already, can I switch side during this exploration? Yeah, it doesn't give me any information about those guys at the start. Ah, there is a note. North give you an intel boost early on, so that's the best option for the beginners, I guess. So it feels kinda weird. When you click in the North army, you are siding with the South army, because it says defeated, and we defeated the North guys. So it's kinda weird wording, but once again, you will need to click North in order to get the intel boost anyway, because we defeated that lady already. American hero, that lady from the North, Mac, that gives us intel, so I'm happy with siding with the south right now because this intel bonus is really really important the advice here is go pick war and super war machine intel asap let's go and try to find it that's the war machine that will allow them to get the higher level i think that's what they meant in any case we need to get more intel so let's wait and get more upgrades so we will get more bonuses as we play the game so small speed up in the current area as always that will give us extra bonuses and maybe some items for the upgrade i hope uh oh had, had to check what i've got anyway let's go to american hero and we can enchant her right away there we go so those are the resources we've got mecha component fusion component uh biochem component and psychic component so obviously to upgrade those guys you need metal components that are mecha and fusion uh and chancing her gives us stats and higher intel obtained so seems legit so we're slowly going through this and upgrading the mecha labs to get more upgrades for our american hero and uh, we are actually at it she's getting stronger we are getting stronger all those upgrades are really cool, getting more intel, getting more power, and we are unlocking more rivals. So we got Widow in White, Rockman Spider Guy, those are Marvel, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Spider- Oh my god, that's hilarious. So we are fighting Avengers right now, going through another area just to get extra bonuses for America, and, uh, come on, mm -hmm. Locust, that's Ant-Man, I guess, I'm not sure. Um, we can upgrade her again. This is so cool. She grows pretty fast. I like it. So, uh, the basic advice for you guys starting with the challenge in North and then upgrading the Mecha Lab to get more upgrades, more uh, materials for the upgrade of uh, the heroes. And don't rush fighting them because uh, as they get stronger, you get stronger and you can use that. So we will do another rush for this area. Actually, we could just go straight to the end of the mission. I think that could be quite easy. Look at all those rewards we're getting. So there we go. I went straight till the end to get all the bonuses. Uh, there are some missions that have to be completed. That's some free stuff. Nice. Even more free stuff. Nice. But the main thing is here. So we can upgrade this one again. And that will allow us to get 8 mecha components when we step on that tile. And uh, that unlocked us new things. Uh, roll gives tool chests. I don't need that. I'm not sure what those things are. Probably for the base upgrade. During an exploration session in America per 30 lab rolls, receive one internet card at the end. Uh, using card redemption for rare resources. That's unique. And this one is cool. That will unlock the new area, but we need to defeat... Thunder Smith or Night Kitty. Night Kitty? So yeah, we will focus on this upgrade path right now. And uh, uh, before fighting the bosses, we will upgrade the lady again. There we go. That's uh, level 7 already. That's what? 3.5% intel and pretty decent stats. 27. How do I take a look? Uh, there we go. That's a decent stats right here. So let's try to fight the bosses again. Oh, wait. First, the card redemption. There we go. Now we can try to challenge them again and see how it will go. 
So first one, this lady. Easily defeated now. We got stronger for sure. Let's go for the next one. Rockman is down. Barely beat him. But that's a progress right here. Alright, we can use this guy as our uh, sister. Help. Oh my god, that... Who's that? Amanda. This is so cool. Anna. Becky. Cecilia. Chloe. Why there are so many of them? Helen. Jessica. That's a lot of girls. My god. And we can't defeat even single one of them because we are weaker. We need just... Just a bit more stats. But we can overcome them with the power of strength, not with the power of stats, without the rush. But only the first one. After that, we lose. So what do we get for this here? Recruit. Recruited. That's nice. And uh, what do we get for this guy? Snail HP bonus. Okay. And this guy for the upgrade uh, uses the fusion components instead. So we can upgrade both of them. The thing is, we can get only one hero to use, right? Yeah, basically, that will be our path for this playthrough, I guess. Uh, we got some redemptions here that we can do. Should have went for scrolls instead. Whatever. Since we are pretty much understand what to do, we will go and we will use the different faction right now. So instead of siding with uh, South, right now I will side with North and we will defeat the South guys. Uh, okay, I want to see the difference in terms of the fights and the bonuses and the heroes. At least the first couple of heroes. So yeah, guys, I was correct. The first uh, tile is biochem lab now instead of the mech parts. You get biochem parts. That's pretty obvious. Trident man. So those are... Uh, this is Aquaman, I think. So we got the DC versus Marvel hill. The, that's genius. I will tell you that, guys. That's genius and hilarious at the same time. Oh, and what's cool, even though we are going for the south, we can still get the hero of other side as our partner. So we can ride this widow in white in any playthrough. And that's pretty cool. So she's riding here and we can use the bonuses of her power and also get the intel bonus. Let's try to fight the... In uh, Trident man, oh my god, he had the actual fish as his friends. That's hilarious. Actually, that's a good idea to go for a run for other sides one uh, once in a while, because you can take out the minions, you can take out the bosses, and that will give you quite a lot of extra intel early on. So probably after a couple of runs for the mech, with the mech guys on your side, you would like to go to change sides and, you know, take those guys out and get extra loot and extra intel. All right, so we are fighting the boss now and we can defeat him as well. Let's go. I think we can. Hell yeah, we can. He's going down. Not in two hits though, that will take a while, but we will get him as our friend as well. What does he say? The land is your domain and the sea is mine. Instead of fighting, we can work together. Okay. Okay, American hero. So what does he do? Snail, I hope you can swim so I can ride you under the water. I'm not sure about that. But America takes grant or whatever. Uh, after the battle food. So that will give you the food as you progress. Basically, not that crazy bonus. I think the other side is better. And you obviously should level up that stuff first. What I would advise, guys, is when you're playing the other side, not your main side, not to spend intel on the upgrades of, um, well, the hostile forces, basically. So go for uh, White Lady. What's her name again? White Widow? Whatever. Basically, do upgrades here, because I think this will help you out to build that faction faster. And uh, since you will using, be using the main character from there, that will be better. For more stuff, we will need to figure out what other type of resources we get. So, I mean, we don't know. But the first upgrade should be for the things that give you the parts, like uh, nuclear fusion labs, like, like this one, mecha lab upgrade, put them to the maximum, that will be good. Two times reward grids become three times rewards, that's nice. So basically those bonuses are pretty dope. Here, I don't know, some plantation grids will be nice because that will give you more food, but yeah, main focus should be that, I think. Now let's see what kind of apostles do we have. We have the Aquaman, who is the Trident Man, Green Ring, which is a Green Lantern, uh, the whole circus, the Joker, Sleuth Doom, Constantine, Night Kitty. This is Batwoman? 
I guess. Catwoman. <laughs> Amazing Queen, which is a Wonder Woman. This is hilarious. I like it. This, this looks very fun. So let's try to challenge the green ring. I think we can beat him. Why it's red while it was white beforehand? It's so weird. He's beating us down. Damn. The weird stuff when we challenged him here, it was showing us that we are good. Oh, not anymore. Anyway, we can get extra redemption things here, so we get extra relic. Nice. And uh, extra stuff that you need, basically. Nothing here that will change your base layout right now, so nothing crazy. I want this. I want to buy this hat. So maybe it will be a good exploration gear. It will give me intel as well. But yeah, at this point, I think I would go and... Uh, Keep leveling up the lady that gives me intel bonus because this is very nice and powerful and probably i would even go finish cafe before investing into america too much because yeah because it takes a bit too long and too many resources to do that so for the day while i'm active i can run few americas because it's fast but uh overnight and for the long uh, cooldown periods i would run cafe so yeah guys that's how america looks like in super snail i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely did and there are a lot, a lot of time that we will have to spend to progress it and to fully unveil its secrets. Let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments. And if you get any tips for America, I would appreciate them as well. Please check out the video description for the links. We got the LD players who can play this and other Android games on the PC. My other YouTube channels, I would like you to subscribe to my PC channel because it's not at 1000 subs and I need it for monetization, so you could help me with that. And there are some cool games out there as well. And my other stuff like my another mobile gaming channel discord social media and that kind of stuff other than that guys thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand push out have a good one bye